Let's talk about the world of search engine optimization. Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel and you're in the perfect place if you're a floral designer or a flower lover who is on a mission of building a business. Because we talk about all the ins and outs and what it takes to actually make money as a floral designer and today I wanted to just kind of demystify the world of search engine optimization. Search engine optimization or otherwise known as SEO, is the process that we go through in terms of making sure that our website can get found when people jump on the interwebs. What actually happens in practice is that more than 92% of the humans jump on Google and they will literally type in flower shop, your city, florist, your city, wedding florist, your city. So the process of search engine optimization is to make sure that your website actually gets found when a customer types in the magic words. It's like a match made in heaven. Your website, your customers, Google. But I also know what it's like to be totally confused in the world of SEO. Because if you jump onto Google and you type in SEO, there's something like 700 million search results. There is so much content available to us when it comes to understanding the world of SEO that it actually compounds the whole situation and just adds to the confusion because how the heck are we supposed to figure out what to do? So I wanted to share with you three tips to help just cut through all the confusion, distill it down into the most important pieces and make sure you know what you need to think about when it comes to all things SEO. And lesson number one, think like your customer. I know that you like to look at pretty pictures and you really care about the aesthetic of your website and you want to talk about it being boutique and interesting and not cookie cutter and all the things that that we think about when we're designing. Except if we think about it from our customer's perspective, they jump on Google and they type in florist Chicago. We're focused on all the pretty details. They're looking for florist Chicago. Whose business is going to be at the forefront of that search result? The website and very specifically the page that's optimized to florist Chicago. <laughs> now I know it's like dumbing it down and distilling it down into the simplest language possible. But remember, we're here to optimize this for Google. So the first thing for you to think through is what are the most common search phrases that your customer is going to Google. <laughs> it can be that simple. So whoever your dream customer is, if you're offering weddings or events, or you're doing birthdays or large scale corporate installations, whatever it is that you're doing, think about the phrase that your customer is going to Google. No doubt it's probably going to be one of three things. Florist, insert your city. Wedding flowers, insert your city. Flower delivery, insert your city. So lesson number one, you have to think like your customer. And lesson number two, it's one search phrase per page on your website. This is really about making sure we are simplifying things as much as humanly possible. We all really like to overcomplicate things, but the Google likes things to be really simple. So every page on your website is going to be optimized to a different search term. Your homepage might be optimized to florist, your city. Then you're going to have a page that talks about your weddings and it's going to be optimized to wedding flowers, your city. If you do daily flower deliveries, it might be optimized to flower deliveries, your city. It's one search phrase per page. Yes, when I tell you that SEO can be super straightforward, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It doesn't need to be any more complicated than that, but it's remembering every page on our website needs to be optimized to a different search phrase. Don't be using all the same search phrases across all the pages on your website and don't miss out on some of the super obvious search phrases that are available to us, i.e. florist, your city. <laughs> And lesson number three, yes, it is complicated. And I know you're like, Kathleen, that's not a lesson. I'm like, yes, it is a lesson. <laughs> 
it is complicated, right? If we jump onto Google and we type in SEO, we're gonna be presented with 700 million search results. We don't need that much information, but that's precisely why this feels so overwhelming and complicated. But remember, this is a process. SEO is the process of optimizing the content on each of the pages of your website to ensure a better Google ranking. It's totally worth doing because the minute that we have a website that we feel like is going to attract our dream client, the checkout process is really easy or the inquiry process is super straightforward and we've got online ordering sorted and so much automation happening that we're like, I could make money in my sleep, sort of. <laughs> That's when we need to turn our priority to making sure we've optimized it from a Google perspective. And here's the bad news. Google and their algorithm is intricate. You are going to find a lot of conflicting information on the big bad worldwide thing oh, called the internet. There are people out in the world who have built businesses to teach business owners about the world of SEO. That's how much support and help and guidance we need in order to navigate this situation. I don't want you to go out there and spend all this time and or all this money and nobody is finding your website. It doesn't need to be as complicated as many of the people out in the big bad world make you believe that it is. I have also put together a super helpful checklist for you, giving you nine specific actions to do on each page of your website to make sure that it's optimized for the Google. All you need to do is visit the big ass folder of free shiz for Flores, enter your name and email address, and it's in there, literally called SEO tips. So look under S, <laughs> you'll find it. But it's nine tips to help you navigate the world of SEO and go through this process on your website because I wanna make sure that the customers land on your website and buy all of the things. This is why we have businesses, is to be able to solve the problems of our customers. But if your customers don't know that you have a website, you're not gonna be able to solve their problem. I like to think of it like we've made the plunge, we've taken a chance, we've signed the lease for the beautiful flower shop location except we're not gonna tell anybody the address, we're not gonna give anybody directions on where we're going, and we're not even gonna list it on any sort of maps directory so that nobody can actually find us. That's exactly what we do with our websites, right? We put all this time and energy into making it look pretty, but we never think about making sure that our customers are actually going to show up because that is the whole point of your website, is to get found so that your customers can spend money with your business. The thing that nobody tells you when you start a flower business is that you also need to become a digital marketing guru. <laughs> Literally, there's no little checkbox on this like, please sign this little form here so that you can understand everything that's involved when it comes to SEO and Google and your website and Instagram and all of these crazy things. But my friend, that's exactly why I am here. I really hope that today's video was helpful in terms of being able to just really simplify the concept of search engine optimization and to make sure you feel very well prepared to start to plunge into the big bad world of SEO. Remember to grab my super helpful checklist, nine tips to help you optimize each page on your website. And don't forget to carry with you the three lessons. Think like your customer, one search phrase per page, and remember, it is complicated. But you can do this, right? This is why we are here. We can totally go out there and conquer the business of flowers. And my friend, if you know anybody who could benefit from watching this little tutorial, be sure to share it with them. Send it to them, go in, download the checklist, and then get to work. And as always, my friend, have the most amazing week, and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.